Hello, it is Thursday afternoon, evening, it's late in the evening, but I am here at Bay Area Renaissance Festival. I am here to set up my table. I just took like a tour around the whole place. This place is huge, guys. This place is ridiculously huge. The biggest Ren fair I've ever been to. And I'm getting really nervous, but before all that, let's go set up the table. I'll talk a little bit about why I'm nervous. You'll see me kind of set up my stuff. It's beautiful outside. I could not ask for a better day to do this. And we're gonna have fun. I'm, we're gonna have so much fun. I should not have worn Crocs for this. Are you kidding me? So you can't really see it, but the tent is set up. That's gonna be all I'm doing for tonight because the rest of it is like my supplies, my products I mean that I have to like actually set out and I'm keeping my product until the show actually starts. But oh, I've got the tent set up and I'm exhausted. Now I'm gonna drive two hours home. Let's go. So I'm out here at the Renaissance Festival. I've got my table all set up. I'm ready to go. It's about half hour before everyone shows up. I'm so nervous. I am so actually nervous. I'm nervous I'm not gonna sell anything. I'm nervous I'm gonna sell too many things and run out of stuff. I'm just like nervous about everything. So the anxiety and the nervousness is kind of taking over right now. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna walk around and kind of try to just take in the atmosphere, remind myself that I'm having a good time. I belong here, I deserve to be here. My imposter syndrome is really, really bad today. So I'm just gonna walk around and see what there is to see before you know the crowd starts showing up and just try to have a good time. But I'm also excited and yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna vibe. We're just gonna vibe, we're gonna do it. But before I go on my walk, I should probably show you my table because it's all set up now. So I'm gonna do that first. Also, we need to have a moment for the fit. Right? I feel so cute, I feel so cute. So the fair is officially in full swing. Someone left their nuts and I'm contemplating whether or not I should eat them. I probably shouldn't, but I really want to. But I've already sold a few pieces, which is awesome. The fair's been open for about an hour and 15 minutes now. Um, it's definitely slow to begin with, but we're, we're getting it, let's do it. using real plants that I grow myself in my magical fairy garden. Oh, wow. And they've all got different meanings to them based on the folklore behind each plant. Oh, I and love your things. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> Have a beautiful one. So I am here alone today and an issue I am running into is I have to like get up and pee and stuff. 
and every time I get up to leave to go pee or to go, I don't know, check on anything, when I come back there's always people at my table that I end up missing and that's a big bummer but there's also kind of no way to avoid that if you're here alone. I would definitely always recommend you bring someone with you if possible, but sometimes it's not possible. My partner is running a marathon at the moment and couldn't be here to help me, but this is kind of something that is a bummer to have to deal with. And I'm also hungry. I'm so hungry and I'm seeing everyone walk around with food and I want food so bad. So I may also take myself a little break to go get some food, but keep y'all posted. Look what I snagged off someone. It's a map. I've never been to a Ren fair before where they have like a dead ass map of the whole venue and there's so much stuff to do like this. I really wish I was attending kind of because like this looks like such a fun Ren fair, but it's huge. And look, so here's the entrance. I'm up over here. That's where I am, but I think it's a pretty good spot. So I was gonna go and get myself some food, but the line is super long, so I will not be doing that. But I do have this cute little lunch box, and I got myself a wrap from Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna eat that. I wish I had something warm to eat, but that's okay. Um, maybe tomorrow when I have my partner back, but yeah, let's eat some lunch. make lots of good sales which is awesome I will break it down later in the video what I did each day but I'm having a better time monetarily wise than I thought I would and having just an absolute great time just talking to people seeing people's costumes I'm right by a stage so I've been watching shows all day it has been so lovely so much fun I'm having an absolutely great time but I am also very exhausted Okay, so it's almost the end of the day, but the person next to me also makes jewelry and we were talking a little bit earlier and she says that she likes to do trades. So she took one of my nightshade necklaces and look what I got in return. She hand paints these. Look how beautiful this is. I'll try to get a little better one. So I got that and I also got this awesome Moonstone bracelet, which Moonstone's my favorite, but like, I'm just so happy. These are so cute and I just, yeah, I love, trading's my favorite thing ever, and I'm so happy I got to do a trade here. Hopefully we'll do more, but this is such a good start. I'm so happy. Okay, it is 10 minutes to 6, so I think I'm going to start packing up soon. I'm going to take all of my jewelry with me so that it's not just staying out here overnight, but the tent and the tables are staying here till tomorrow and throughout the rest of the festival. But all the stuff that I actually make, the stuff that I sell, that's coming home with me. So I'm going to pack that stuff up really quick and then I'm gonna get the heck out of here because I'm sleepy and I can't wait to eat some food, some actual good food and cuddle my cats and go to sleep. So yeah, let's go. Good morning, it is now Sunday. I am pooped, but I'm excited for day two of Run Fair. And the first thing I'm doing is I made a mistake yesterday. I did not eat breakfast yesterday. Big mistake. So I went to Wawa, I got myself a breakfast burrito, I got myself an energy drink, and I'm going to sit in the car and I'm gonna eat my breakfast, eat a nice big breakfast before I go to Run Fair. I also got myself some more snacks for like lunchtime, so hopefully I won't run into the food situation that I did yesterday. Hopefully this will be enough to sustain me. But yeah, I'm gonna get on the road soon and we're going to do day two. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm here at the fair. I am set up already. It is a little after 10, so I'm a little bit late. I had to stop and get gas, but that's okay because I'm here and I'm ready to party. Let's do this. Yes, I am drinking a second energy drink. Don't judge me, but I am feeling so much better and more confident today than I was yesterday. Yesterday, I was so scared, just, I was just anxious and feeling so weird and I didn't like introduce myself to anyone. I didn't really go up and look around that much. 
but today I just went and like introduced myself to my neighbors and like looked at everyone's stuff well, not everyone's because this place is huge but like my immediate area and I just feel so much more confident and so much more like secure in myself today which is really awesome so yeah good vibes today I'm feeling great I'm excited to get the fair going and I will probably end up vlogging less today because my dumbass forgot to charge my battery so we're gonna do as much as I can but it's gonna be more of the same um, yeah, just we're gonna have a good day. So I went walking around and I literally made it one table away before I had to buy something. This is an herb stripper. So instead of having to like pluck the leaves off your herbs, you can just like and it takes all the leaves off and it's hand carved and look how beautiful it is. So I'm very excited. I will have their information linked, of course, but um yeah this is i'm i'm psyched about this so psyched all right it's getting to be about lunch time so i figured i would show you guys what i got to eat today because that could be i don't know pretty helpful i like to know what people eat in a day so let's do it so here's my lunch box it has three little compartments and then the first little top i got these little boiled eggs hi welcome i love your hat thank you all my jewelry I make myself using real flour. And here in the second compartment, got different grapes and crackers and little bits of cheese. And in the third compartment, I've got granola bars and cookies. I also brought banana muffin and some strawberry lemonade. It's not difficult to find gas station food that's vegetarian friendly, vegan friendly, very difficult though. So do beware of that. I am vegetarian so I don't eat any meat but I was able to find some good stuff at a gas station but also like Trader Joe's has like a lot of good stuff too which I'm probably gonna do for next weekend. All right little check-in time so it is a lot slower today than it was yesterday which is to be expected because it's a Sunday. Makes sense but the vibes are immaculate. I'm having so much fun having so many genuine good conversations with people meeting so many dogs which is awesome. But yeah, we're having a good day, we're having a good time. Just a lot more chill than yesterday, but that's okay. Okay, I just did a really exciting trade. I can't wait to show you guys. So first of all, I got a jar of honey and some tea from a local apiary. They have their own bees. And in exchange, I'm going to be making them a custom necklace with one of the bodies of one of their fallen bees. And I just think that is so special and so cool. And like, I'm so excited to go home and like try this honey with this tea. And she specifically said to get this hibiscus honey for the jasmine tea. And I love, I love jasmine tea. I love honey. I love hibiscus. So I am so psyched. And it's just so special that like, I'm going to make her a necklace of one of her bees that produced this honey. Like how awesome and special is that? I love Run Fair. I'm having so much fun. This is so great. I just am like on cloud nine. This is awesome. <laughs> so it's like an hour before closing and now seems to be about the time when it gets really, really slow. Um, maybe because we're so far in the back, people have kind of started filtering out by now. So I'm just going to vibe for the rest of the day, but it was a good day. Definitely less sales, probably about half the sales that I did yesterday, I did today, which isn't bad, but um, it is no, it's a Sunday. I think the busier days are going to be Saturdays, but I had such a good time. I met a lot more of my neighbors today. I talked a lot more with like the other vendors here. I did a few trades, which is awesome. Um, it's just been so fun and I'm feeling really grateful that I got to be here and got to do this. I'm just feeling so happy and like so affirming that I'm here and I'm doing it and I don't know it's just a really good feeling so I'm probably going to wrap up this portion of the vlog now um, because the rest you've already seen I'm just gonna pack up and leave and then I will probably do a little sit down once I've had a few days to sit on this and, and that is where my camera died hello it is now Tuesday and welcome to the final portion of this vlog where I'm going to talk about my experience with the run fair so first things first, um, you may notice my energy level is way, way down today. That is because I'm pooped, I'm exhausted. Ren Faire was so exhausting and so tiring, but so worth it and so much fun. But it's Tuesday now, yesterday I did nothing all day. I just allowed myself to rest and to sleep and to eat and just kind of exist for a day because Renfair took a lot out of me. It was very exhausting. They were like 12 hour days when you include uh, travel. So that's, that's a lot. 
Um, that being said, I think it was so worth it and I'm so glad I did this. I am so glad I did this. As I mentioned earlier, I was really anxious. I was so scared that I wouldn't do well or that I just, imposter syndrome was getting me really, really bad and I felt like I didn't belong here, like I wasn't good enough, that my stuff wasn't good enough, that I wasn't worthy of being here and I'm so glad I pushed through that because wow, did I have an amazing weekend and I'm so glad that I pushed through all of those anxiety feelings because it was, it was just so worth it and so much fun. I had such a fun weekend just talking to people, looking at people's costumes, talking to them about my work, talking to them about their D&D characters or their LARP characters. Um, I'm really excited to talk about LARPing because LARPing is something I really, really want to do and I got to talk to so many people about like how to get into it, so that's really exciting. But anyway, it was just such a great weekend and I made so many awesome connections. I made so many great connections with my neighbors. My neighbors are all so awesome and I'm so happy that I got the courage to get up and introduce myself to them and talk to them a little bit because they're all so cool. Everyone here is so cool. And I'm just so honored and happy to be a part of this group now. It's, it's genuinely so awesome. So overall, how was Ren Fair for me? It was great. I am so happy. I'm so glad that I'm here and I can't wait to do it all again next weekend. Even though it's going to keep me very busy and very tired, it's definitely worth it. How was the weekend for me monetarily wise? Was I successful? And the answer is yes, I was. So going into this, I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't know how many people were going to be at the Ren Fair. I didn't know what the vibe was gonna be like. I didn't know what they would be shopping for. So I gave myself a goal of $100 a day because that would basically cover my table cost. That wouldn't cover gas, it wouldn't cover food or anything. It was just the cost of the table is roughly about $100 a day. And I did way better than that. <laughs> so on Saturday, I made about $850 and on Sunday, I made about $350. That's really good for me. An $800, $900 event is like top tier for me. That's like, okay, this was a really good event and I'm glad I got here. So to have done that one day and then an extra $350 on the next day, that way blew my goal out of the water. That was able to make it so I could cover gas, I could cover food, I could cover maybe buying myself some things, and that's really, really awesome. That was so, so good and like confirming that yes, I do belong to be here because people were liking my stuff and they bought my stuff. They spent, they spent actual money dollars on my stuff, which is one of the best feelings in the world. Now, that's not taking into consideration like the cost of my supplies, the cost of my equipment, any of that. So when I say I made 800 plus 300, when I say I made a little over $1,000 this weekend, that's not in pure profit. Um, I don't know what the breakdown is of my financial stuff with the cost of my supplies, and I'm not sure if that would be something you guys would even be interested in. It's a little boring, but I didn't make $1,000 pure profit, but I did make a decent amount to where it did cover all of my expenses and my supplies and made a little bit of extra money on top of it. So I'm very happy with the monetary success that I had this weekend. And from what I'm hearing from the other vendors is that the first weekend's always the slowest too. So hopefully I'll be doing better the weekend after this and the weekend after that, and we'll just see how it goes. But I'm really, really excited and really hopeful for the next few weekends. All in all, this was an amazing experience. I am so happy. I feel so soul affirmed and like I belong here. I feel like I found my people and it just feels really good. And even though I'm really tired and really exhausted and it's a little daunting to think about doing this for the next six weeks, um, more than that daunting feeling is a feeling of just excitement and oh my God, I can't wait to get back out there. So that is going to be the end of this little wrap up portion of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me. Let me know if you want more Ren Fair vlogs. Um, it would be more of the same, so I'm not sure if that would be something you guys would want to see. I will say next week my partner is going to be helping me, which is awesome, and that means that I'll be able to get up and explore a little bit more so I can do more actual like Ren Fair vlogging. Um, but let me know if that's something you guys would like. Otherwise, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you next time. Love you! Bye!